Lee Strobel is with me today to talk about his amazing book, which just happens to be our offer to you this month, The Case for Grace. Lee, this book is a book of powerful stories. And you tackled one story, which is kind of hard sometimes for us to talk about in the church. A lot of people have been hurt through circumstances like these. Yeah. It's a pastor who commits adultery, Brad Mitchell. Yes. Mitchell, tell me yes. about him. Brad it w has been a friend of mine for 20 years, and he was a great prayer warrior, a great pastor, and he succumbed to temptation, and he had an affair. Uh, he had been living apart from his family because he was pastoring a new church and they weren't ready to move yet. And there were cer extenuating circumstances, but not really. In fact, I said to him at one point, I said, um, uh, during the interview I had with him, I said, you committed a, uh, you had an affair. He said, Lee, don't call it an affair. That makes it sound legitimate. That makes it sound exotic. Call it what it is. It was adultery. Mm -hmm. And so he had an affair with a, a woman um, and ended up uh, getting caught, uh, confessing it to his wife, a wonderful woman named Heidi. And of course, they were dev she was devastated. He was devastated. You wrote that she was throwing up, like literally. After she, she was. Heard about she it. was. She immediately vomited when he told her. And their life was over. All he knew how to do was to be a pastor. Well, he was disqualified now from being a pastor. Uh, he was. He has scars from his arm. He gave blood, sold his blood so many times to survive that he has scars on his arm. Um, and they, of course, their marriage was, was hanging by a thread. She had to come to the point of how do I forgive my husband for this horrible deed that he has done? Um, and then is the marriage going to stay together? That's a separate issue, yeah. you know, whether it will or not. Uh, he had to receive her forgiveness, which he ultimately offered, which is a difficult thing to do. But he had to forgive himself. Mm -hmm. he, he, you know, he, he let himself down. He did something that he knew he should never even. Yeah, he was rationalizing, right? Like he was yes. thinking like, God's not going to expose, expose my sin because God wants to protect the church. Oh yeah, he, during the uh, <laughs> time of the adultery, he would rationalize it away and oh no, no, yeah. It, you know, um, I deserve it. There's, there's, a, there's a sense that we deserve some because, oh golly, I'm living apart from my family and I'm lonely and um, you know, I'm, I'm just looking for some companionship and you, know, you rationalize these things. But um, once uh, the full brunt of it uh, hit, um, you know, he, had to, he had to confess it all because he wanted Heidi to know it all, to know what she was forgiving. Yeah. So he could have skimmed over a lot of the details. Um, but, but I know that because when, if you don't confess it all, in the back of your mind you think, yeah, you've forgiven me and you love me, but you don't actually really know. You don't know the whole right? story. So you dismiss yes. it, which gets in the way of that real healing that needs to happen. That's exactly true. And so he did. He, he over, it took a couple of weeks to get it all out of everything that had happened. It was a very ugly, ugly uh, incident. And um, you know what? The, the amazing thing was they were in counseling to, to save their marriage and God did save their marriage. And um, the counselor said it to them at one point. They said, he said, you know, someday um, you're going to talk about this publicly. And they, they laughed and said, no, 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 this is <laughs> totally embarrassing. There's no way we're going to. And he said, you know what, someday you're going to help other people by the experiences that we went through. And they said, no, 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 this is too painful. Well, now they have a ministry and it's to couples who are going through tough times and uh, where trust has been eroded or broken in a marriage relationship. And sure enough, they're helping people find the grace of God to be forgiven by Him, but to forgive ourselves, to receive and to offer forgiveness to a spouse who's disappointed us. And then, you know, not every marriage is going to be saved. Sometimes the trust is totally broken and, and, and you can't put the pieces back together. But you know what? Oftentimes with the help of God, with His grace, you can. Yeah. And they help people walk down that difficult road. We see that on this program all the time and people need to hear that there is hope after those things. That's Thank right. you for telling that story. Sure. There's more great stories like this in the book. You know, shame is a thing sometimes that hold us, holds us back from God, but grace is the answer to shame. And grace can overcome shame. You can have that in your life.